It's now time for this week in Trojan Athletics with Athletic Director Steve White. Steve, take it away. Thank you, Trey. Happy New Year to all Trojan Nation and, and all the folks in Broadcast South land. Uh, we really appreciate Broadcast South allowing us to do this weekly program to recognize our kids and our programs. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit today, just kind of an overview of things that went over over the holidays. We haven't come before you in about three weeks, so just kind of want to catch you up. Uh, finishing up from our fall sports, we did have three softball girls signed to play at the next level in December. Hannah Caps and Morgan Hodges with Chipola College and Casey Thacker with Andrew College. That was our first signing day of the year. We anticipate more moving forward with our football guys in winter and spring sports. On the football note, we had a number of kids represent coffee in a wide variety of all-star games, and I'm going to go through those with you. The Georgia Elite Classic, the senior game, we had Jackson Banks, Larry Daniel, and Billy Simpson participating. In the Georgia Elite Classic freshman game, we had Edwin Burt and K.J. DeBruce. The Georgia Athletic Coaches Association junior game, Tyreek Edwards. Georgia Athletic Coaches Association sophomore game, we had Tyrese Woodgett and Jaden Hancock. The Minority Coaches Association of Georgia rising junior game, we had Anthony Polk and Jerzebian Grant. And in the East-West Classic, we had Dreshawn Taylor, Antoine McDuffie, and Mason Roberts. Congratulations to all these young men, and we were very appreciative of them representing us in these all-star games. Okay, let's talk about winter sports first. Let's talk about start with swimming. Swimming was active over the holidays. They're getting ready for region next Wednesday, which we'll host here at the South Georgia College Pool. They'll be going to host the Coffee Winter Invitational this Saturday at South Georgia College at 10. And again, that, that's going to propel us into the region meet next Wednesday, which we'll host here, and I'll talk to you more about that next Monday. Wrestling. Region duels this past Saturday at Ware. We finished third. Lost a very, very tough semifinal match, 34-30 to to Greenbrier. Ended up, had a chance to win the region. A couple of uh, individual matches could have gone different. We would have been able to do that, but we're still... Got a stellar year going. We're 18-4 and four in dual matches. That's our record for the year. And we are advancing to the dual preliminaries this Saturday at Harris County up above Columbus. We will be wrestling Chattahoochee High School there and trying to advance to the final eight in dual wrestling. Now, wrestling also has a traditional arm that, that uh, we'll pick up after duels is over. And we're actually hosting the traditional region tournament first Saturday in February, and we'll talk about that more moving forward. But wrestling continues to have a good year. A little disappointed from Saturday over at Ware, but still good things ahead for our wrestling program. All right, let's talk basketball now. Girls basketball, 5-8 and eight on the year. They won two games over the holidays, beating Bainbridge in Early County. Off to a kind of a slow start in the region with a young team, but Coach Kellogg and her staff and the girls are working hard, and we're getting better and better every week. Boys basketball had a very good weekend. Their overall record still stands at 5-8, and eight, but they're 2-1 and one in the region. They're in second place right now. They had wins over the holidays against Metter, Statesboro, and Clinch County. In the Statesboro game on the road, a big region win last Friday. Trent Wilson led the Trojans with 11 points, followed by Tommy Wells and Jadarius Odoms with 10 each. And then we followed that on Saturday night with our boys going to Clinch County and winning another road game, 52-48, behind Lorenzo Harvey's 10 points. This week, basketball hosts Ware County tomorrow at the high school. JV girls at 4 o'clock, varsity girls at 6, varsity boys at 7.30. Uh, our boys can take a share of the region lead with a win over Ware tomorrow night, and they really need your support. Now, on Friday, we're going to go to Bradwell Institute. The original schedule had us play in Bradwell on the road in December and here on Friday, but we had to switch it because of some floor damage at Bradwell. 
and they're going to go to Hinesville on Friday to play Bradwell Institute, but the game will be at Liberty County High School and not Bradwell. Their, their, their gym is not, has not been repaired yet. Uh, both teams will be back home Saturday night at 6 o'clock. Girls, 7.30 boys versus Irwin County. So winter sports are, are hard at it. Uh, fall's wrapped up. Spring's getting ready to start. As, as a matter of fact, uh, tennis, baseball, soccer, all their beginning practice starting dates today. So we've got spring sports starting to kick up. A lot going on at Coffee High School. First opportunity to support our kids tomorrow night against Ware at the Coffee High School gym. We would love to see you there. Thank you, Trey. Well, I appreciate you coming down here at the Vibe FM to talk to us all about all the events going on in Coffee Trojan Sports. That's going to wrap up our midday show. Stay tuned for our morning show at 6 o'clock in the morning tomorrow right here on none other than the Vibe FM. I'll catch you all tomorrow in the morning.